You know what's a good time to me? You know what's a good time to me? What's a good time? How's about this? How's about tonight? Yeah. We take out Antana, Remy. Yeah. What's that other guy? Julian Young, the bald guy, the old bald guy, oh. young guy. Yeah. So the three of you guys, you had so much to say last show, but guess what? Now, now we're a cohesive unit, and tonight, the three of you guys, it's over. You better believe it, Remy! You've already felt the wrath once of the Greaser, and if you think it's not gonna happen again, you've got another thing coming, because we've got work to do! Remy Petit? Yo, Remy yeah. Petit! Oh yeah! The fat guy is Oh petite. yeah! The old guy is young, but you know what? We're just dead sexy. Tonight, boys, call it a night. It's in the books. So, Greaser Jimmy Carr, you wanna use my flag? and be disqualified? <laughs> Buddy, you don't know what you started. XXL, you kick me where the sun doesn't shine. Well, buddy, I'm gonna kick you right in your face. And Kirk, <laughs> well, you already lost to me last time, so if you want more, come and get it. If you would shut up for a minute. Let me tell you who I am. I am James Liberty, and I am the ambassador of the United States of America. He's an ambassador, did you hear that? Let that be a lesson to you, dude. 
I have come to this country to rid you, you Mexican jumping bean. It is guys like you that come to this country and steal jobs from Canadians and Americans. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna beat you for each and every one of you pathetic Canadians standing right here tonight. Checking, uh, referee checking for any foreign objects on the foreign. Look at him placating to these nerds. Huge slam, referee in the way.
James Liberty stealing a victory over Fuego Dragon holding on to the ropes. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, James Liberty! James Liberty using his smarts on El Fuego Dragon, reversing that sunset flip. Let me tell you something, we're gonna take it backstage here. Brody Steele is backstage, and I think he has something to say, Mike Russell. I'm joined here by the big man Brody Steele. Now, last time at IHW, Unstoppable, Titus challenged you to a match and gave you an opportunity at the IHW Heavyweight Championship, and you refused. What are your intentions here at IHW? I don't remember refusing a match. I will fight anyone, anywhere. I don't care about his belt. I don't care about a title match. I'll fight anyone, anywhere. I'll fight you right now. I'll fight Titus right now. I will go through anyone. I will destroy anyone. So don't you dare tell me what I refuse to do. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk. Here. In the apocalypse, all we need is calls and power. The customer you are calling is unavailable at the moment. Please try again later. Cry all day with my demons hanging out my window. Yeah, I'm off to kill that wicked witch. And their opponents for the evening, introducing first His tag team partner, Remy Poutine! Here comes Remy Poutine. Fun fact! I think Remy Poutine is looking to get a little bit of revenge on uh, Greaser it's Jimmy Hart. Actually can't come off match. without being pulled he very hard. Because Julian it's a title match. Greaser Jimmy Carr because of uh, the uh, the finish of the match on the last episode, uh, him using the Acadian flag on him. 
let me tell you something. Look at, look at, look at Crusher Kirk crew. You can tell this man hitting that CrossFit hard. Look at him. There are, I don't think there's anyone in that ring with the, maybe the exception of Double XL that is in as good a shape as Crusher Kirk crew. I can't disagree with you on that one, Rockstar. No matter how much I want to. Greaser, he's living up to his name, Daddy. I'm talking about Fantana because he must be a ghost. He passed through. Fantana still feeling a little bit of the effects from the last match with uh, Double XL. There, you can see him a little favoring the knee. Oh, and they're attacking the arm, showing a little cohesiveness. As uh, you were trying to point out, how are they going to work as a team? Looks like they're doing pretty well right now. Things can turn on a dime, Mike Russell. I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't trust Fantana if I had to. There you go, XL to the top rope. He's wasting the whole five count. Oh, oh. Julian has him scouted. Whoa, there look at that is. exciting move there. Taking out both men. Yeah, it catches XL's kick. Ducks the Insiguri. Here we go. We've seen this before. I think he's going to go for it. I think he's he going is. Is the pendulum swing? I think that's what we're going to see, Mike Russell. The pendulum swing. Here he comes. I thought this is the Angelina Jolie stretch. It could be over. Carries him to the turnbuckle and is beating the back of his head off the bottom turnbuckle. Leg drop, oh my god! One, two, that could have finished That is any, some serious teamwork right anybody there. Anybody else that would have finished the match just shows how, how much reserve Double XL has in that well of his. That move generating fans showing their appreciation for that last move. Disgusting. Bunch of cheating. Pressure Kirk Group in there right now. There I don't think go. Fantana knows what he's getting into. Fantana Daddy. revving up, it seems. Kirk daring him. Oh, and he tags in the big man, Remy Petit. Possibly the most popular megastar here in IHW. Listen to Crusher. I think I can actually believe that. If anybody in that ring can, it would be Crusher. But what arrogance. He announces it. I'm excited. I'm excited to see this. in his belly. I love Remy Putzi. He's a he's just a lot of fun to watch in the ring. Oh, oh Crusher. You think you think a man with uh, as much strength that he has it would be wouldn't hurt his back so well. I think he just needs to stretch out a little. I'll tell you something. Fun fact about Remy Putin, he ate about nine pizzas right before this match. You're just mad because he ate your lunch. Doing more damage to his own lower back. Oh! There he goes. Can you see that he had him up? One, two, only one, oh, only two. one. Resilient, resilient. I'll give it to the Crusher. Oh, and double XL with the cheap shot up from like behind. A lightning, big clothesline. Quick as lightning, he was to his feet there. Unreal. That's just showing his CrossFit abilities there. Seriously, I man, that was his CrossFit training. To steal a classic quick as a hiccup. Come on, 
Tracer showing his uh, cheating tactics using the uh, five count in the ropes. Oh, another slap by Harley Havoc. Showing she's not afraid to get involved for her man. Tell you something, Daddy. It takes a super strong man to be able to headbutt through that giant cranium. Oh, Rockstar. A big punch by Greaser Jimmy Carr. Another one. They're wearing the big man down. As uh, you had mentioned, uh, some time ago, Crusher Kirk Croup with a 48 inch vertical leap. Tell you something, Daddy. There are not too many people with the technical ability of double XL. Look at that man. The sharpshooter on the big man. Let's see if he can turn him over with those giant legs that Remy has. Oh, the big man oh. powers out of it. Oh, and he tags it, Julian Young. Oh, and he's a house of fire. Back elbow. Drop kick. Julian Young fired up. Irish whip to the turnbuckle. Oh, tilt the world backbreaker by Julian Young. And he tags in Fantana. Let me tell you something, Daddy. All these here people. Here we go. Looks Could like we're getting a double team move here. Oh, my God. What is this, Kurt? Oh! What a maneuver. Two. Oh, and he catches him. The usual oh. kind, of, kind of cheating garbage you'd expect. Slick shot. Men. Catches himself. Oh, look at him. Those men aren't in there. Oh. That is his own fault, Daddy. Here we go. Referee distracted. They're holding him and yeah. attacking that knee. <laughs> That's what he gets for hitting them when they weren't in the ring. That's their own fault. That's his own fault, Daddy. Taking out Fantana's legs. Sometimes you just get what you deserve. Referee distracted by Remy Petit coming in the ring. Letting his emotions get the best of him. Fantana trying to fight back. Still in the corner of the corner. Oh! <laughs> and a two count by Crusher. Let me tell you something. Besides awesome action, you know, Innovative Hybrid Wrestling has some fantastic sponsors, guys. We have Parlor Pond. My goodness. My goodness. Parlor Pond. They've been such a great sponsor. The Esquire Tavern. The Ben 919. What's the Finish Podcast? Not to be held down, Daddy. We've had some fantastic interviews in the past. I recommend you go check us out. We've seen this from Greaser before. The running back rake. Beautiful, Daddy. Somebody. Up. Over. Oh, down he goes. Oh, no. Really? Three men now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I think he's setting up someone for the spear. Remy Petit getting this crowd fired up. Listen to these idiots cheering we. Like they all have to go to the bathroom at once. It's not that big, Daddy. Oh, 
Someone fly here. We're gonna see. We're gonna Julian see Young to the top. They're on the outside. You need to give them a break. They're on the top. Oh, he takes them all out. Julian, the fans getting behind Julian. Remy Petit pointing to Fantana. Here we go. Are we gonna see some people fly? Oh! I'll tell you right now, Daddy. You gotta watch out for stuff like that. That stuff doesn't always pay off. Yeah. That's why it's called a high risk maneuver. Are we gonna see Remy no Petit way. fly? No way! Not a chance! Here we go! Are you kidding me? No way! <laughs> well done! Well done! Jimmy Carr! DDT! Is. DDT! Mr. Steven Pettibot used Man, to call it! Man, trouble in paradise! Steven Pettibot used to call it, don't do that! The DDT takes out Remy Poutine! Here we go! Kirk catching up! Beautiful! Oh, oh. to the turnbuckle! Yeah. Double knees! Julian Young! Kirk Croup is the man, but he made oh, a rookie. super kick! There's times when you remember that he is still a rookie, Daddy! Julian Young! Double XL now! Up! Down he goes! Spear! We got up! No! Oh, could this match be over? Fantana! He's going to the top! Are we gonna see the 450? No! He's calling for it! No, this is He's disgusting. up in the air! 450! We got him! One! Two! Three! He is over! That's it, I quit! Okay, I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen! Unbelievable the victory! The team of Fantana! Julian Young and Remy Booty! Ladies and gentlemen, coming up, last week we saw Julian Young qualify for the TV title tournament. Let's go back and see how this TV title came to be, Daddy. The referee banning Reddick Snow from this match. This could be one of the greatest matches of the year. Capture suplex. That was beautiful. Oh, and sandwich is Scotty. It is Brian McKay. Two. Brian McKay says it's only two. Picture perfect. Reddick Snow now just in the nick of time. Oh, and he hits him with the belt. There he comes, we got a new ref. And that's it! We've got a new champion! Look at this! Referee Scotty from St. Town, saying it's no good. Kevin Tyler, IW's head of matchmaking now in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, head of matchmaking Kevin Tyler, just informed me that as of right now, the title is held up. We do not have a winner. Coming at you every Thursday, it's the podcast that constantly asks WTF. My name's Brian Landry. I'm the rockstar Chris Cole, Daddy! And we are the hosts of What's the Finish, a maritime-produced podcast that covers music, sports, video games, and all things pop culture while counting down to the big finish, the biggest story of the week. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and iTunes. It's What's the Finish, available every Thursday. Let me tell you something, Langel daddy -o.
got it in the bag. Your Canadian Idol has the mask off. It's true, Daddy. I know, I know. And he, he yeah, he's a handsome dude, Daddy. And let me tell you something, he is going to have, he has so much talent where he's coming over right now to the Rockstar Studio. We're going to have a brand new theme song come IHW Unstoppable. It's going to be fan. Fantastic, Daddy. And I'll tell you something, we've been trying to figure out what to do with the name, and I think I got it. I think I got it. Your, because, you know, rap is dead, Daddy. Rap is dead, pop is dead, rock music is the way to go. Just like the rock star did until I made my money, Daddy. Now let me tell you something, here it is. It's your rock idol, Chris Cool. I know, isn't that fantastic? I know, right? It's, it's just amazing, and it's just all from the rock stars. I got it! Your country idol. I gotta go. What do you mean, your country idol? What do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean, what do you mean? Country's the way to go. That's it. That, that's it. It makes sense. We it talked on the sense. phone. I sent you an email. Your rock idol, Chris Cool. I sent you an email on this. Do you even read the emails I send you? Can you even read? I can read the speedometer on my truck, thank you very much. I've seen the way you drive. I don't even know if that's true. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. I can do this myself. Don't worry. I don't need your help all the time. Better. Ow! You know it's hard on the ears? Yeah, well you're hard on my brain. Yeah, well... Okay, so you're gonna sing. Okay, I just want you to sing like you normally would sing. This, this is ridiculous. But we're gonna sing! Alright? And I want you to do your best to sound good. All right, you ready? I'm gonna hit go. All right, all right. Okay. When I rock into the ring, where's the lyrics? Uh, what do you mean, where's the lyrics? You wrote the song. Oh yeah. It's all right. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Ready? Do, do, re. Ray, fa, fa, so, so, yes, yeah, so, so what? So buttons. All right. So, how is this gonna help me sing? Okay, I get it now. Did the horse yeah. just move? Chris Hicks is my idol! Alright, that's good enough! We'll, uh... Yeah, I'll fix it. I'll just get it out of my house. I'll fix it in post. Finally, it's done, it's complete. My masterpiece. Now I know how Dave feels. Throw yourself into a world that will stop you dead in your tracks. Introducing the all-new IHW.ca, taking innovative hybrid wrestling to a whole new digital world. Featuring a whole new redesigned homepage with all of the up-to-date information. A complete roster section with full bios. 
interact with IHW Megastars management and other fans through social media. Access classic moments from IHW's past, see exclusive video content, and watch full episodes of Unstoppable. For the first time ever, one click brings everything IHW to you. Explore the all-new IHW.ca now. Brought to you by Brad Web Design. Folks, as you can see on our screen right now, here is the tail of the tape for our two competitors in the main event, Chris Cook and Marcus Burke. Are you ready for your main event of the evening? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is no holds barred. Falls count anywhere in the building, and the loser must retire from professional wrestling. Introducing first, from Campbellton, New Brunswick, weighing in at 227 pounds, one half of vegan power, Mr. Suave Marcus Burr. Folks, here is Vegan Power coming together in the ring for this historic main event. No DQ, false count anywhere's retirement match. This is the biggest match in innovative hybrid wrestling history simply for the fact that Marcus Burke is about to put a former heavyweight champion down for good, Daddy. And he's got that big man on the outside that'll make a huge difference. I think you're jumping to conclusions here. The big picture, Chris Cook, former. I'm exercising my mind. Second longest reigning heavyweight champion here in IHW. I think you're you're just you're counting him out a little too short. Hey, you know what's good about second place? Nothing. And his opponent from Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Here is the big picture, Chris Cook. 53 pounds. It is the big picture. We have been waiting for these two to square off in a match like this since the end of season one. These two have been fighting for the past year. They have unresolved issues tonight. It is over. Resolved. A hot match. Crowd should be fired for this one. Blind charge by Burke. Chris Cook smartly moving out of the way. Let me tell you something. There's nothing smart about what Chris Cook does, Daddy, including making this challenge for Marcus Burke. He's got a lot, a lot to take down. He's taking on a guy in the prime of his career. Mike Russell, and I don't think that Chris Cook has it in him after being out for as long as he was. Uh, don't, don't, don't take uh, Chris Cook too lightly there. He's, uh, remember, former IHW champion. Oh, big kick to the head. 
Well, let me tell you something, him silly there. Marcus Burke is a future ISW champion and future television champion. And he's also a former ISW champion, Daddy. Here we go, Marcus Burke. Just holding on to Chris Cook. Show, try, seems like he's just trying to frustrate him here. Crowd firmly behind Chris Cook. And a crucifix roll up, we got a cover. Oh, trying to make a short match out of this. Almost had a, almost lost a career there. Here we go, rear chin lock by Marcus Burke. Here it is, it's a front face lock by Mike Russell. And he just powers out of it, yeah, right back to the waist lock and to the head lock. Now Marcus Burke has the distinct advantage of having the big man, his tag team partner, his life partner, Riddick Stone. His hetero life mate, Daddy. Now let me tell you something else about Marcus Burke, another advantage that he has, is that he is the only vegan megastar in an of hybrid wrestling. And if you don't believe me, you can just ask him, Daddy. Uh, not showing too many brain. Oh! What do you think of that? Oh, well, that slapped the yellow right off his teeth. Oh, and he just fired up Chris Cook. Scotty from Stinkdown just blatantly letting him put and his a big on shoulder the tackle. Here we go, lifting him up over his head, Gorilla Press. Look at the strength, oh, he grabs for the <laughs> eyes. I knew you'd like that. Let me tell you something, Daddy. When it comes to a battle of strength and brains, why don't you go for brains every single time? That's why Here Lex Luthor always won. Here we go, oh, catches him. He's gonna do a mock F5. Marcus, Br hey, Riddick Stone, hold him, oh! Catching him. Oh, look at that. Sliding drop kick to the outside. Hitting both competitors. We're going to get a du double oh, knock at Hogger. Look at this. Riddick Stone's out here as a manager. He's out here as a manager, not as a wrestler. Chris Cook has no right putting his hands on someone like Riddick Stone, and he's going to regret it if he tries to continue doing such a thing. We'll just call it collateral damage. Chris Cook on the outside. Attack. Oh, now he's daring him. Oh, there it is. Now there's this. the advantage. No DQ. Riddick Stone can get involved at any time. But Chris Cook still getting the better. Oh! What is that? It's a kendo stick, and Marcus Burke is using it to his advantage. Let me tell you something, Daddy. A lot of people call him a practice sword, and I'll tell you one thing. Those ca a kendo shima is a traditional Japanese weapon, and it is nothing to sneeze at, Daddy. That thing hurts when it is used right, and obviously Marcus Burke was using it right, Daddy. And he just threw it away. Here we go with the double team on the outside. It, they're really taking advantage of this falls count anywhere as they're going around the building. I think he's going to th throw him outside into the turn. Oh, they're at the merch table. The more they are outside the ring, the more it is in favor of Marcus Burke. Still taking advantage of the double team here. You'd think someone would come and help out big picture Chris Cook. Oh! I don't know what just happened. We can't see it from our vantage point here. Chris Cook making the mistake of going after Riddick again. He's going to end up getting himself losing this match because he can't keep his mind off of the monster Riddick. Oh, throws him into the door. Might take him out of the match. Let me tell you something, this might be too much for Bell Community One Television, Daddy. This is insane. Here we go, they're going around the building here. Riddick Stone trailing from behind. Oh! Into that stack of tables that it's against the wall there. Uh, this is actually leaving me speechless. Mike Russell, the rock star Chris Cole, feels speechless for the first time in his long, illustrious career. There we go, they're just still rolling around here. Marcus Burke looks like he's paying. Chris, Chris Cook just... Coming around near the announce table. Just a... Oh! 
Marcus Burke hit him with something there. He's taking full advantage of him. It's all right, Mike Russell. Don't get too scared. There we go. It's a garbage lid, but it's attached to the garbage can. Frustrating, Marcus Burke. Riddick Stone still trailing behind there. Not far behind. Here we go. Irish rope into the post. These audience members better watch out. Someone better get security. Like that is a big man to get in the way of. Somebody's got to get security to get these fans out of the way. Riddick Stone getting himself back into the matchup. Once again, they're still on the outside. This just makes it more Marcus Burke's game than Chris Cook. I don't think he's actually Chris prepared Cook's still for this not match. giving up, even though it's a two on, distinct two on one and disadvantage on him. Yo, Riddick Stone hanging on to the leg. It's despicable. Why doesn't anybody come and help out Chris Cook? Because nobody likes Chris Cook. Oh, reverses and charge. Shoulder. I said it once and I'll say it again. It just keeps getting more. The longer this goes, the more it is. Mr. Suave Marcus Burke's game, and Daddy. Piling on Chris Cook here. And Marcus Burke, as you said, is in the prime of his career. There's no one, no superstar hotter than him right now. He is future and former innovative hybrid wrestling champion. Burke with some flying knees in the corner. Oh no, oh he's got a table. Here comes Riddick with a table. Oh no. This is gonna do some damage to Chris Cook here. Oh, Chris Cook coming back. Here Riddick's comes. got the table set up. Chris Cook, Irish whipping to the corner. Oh, and ferocity into that corner. Let me tell you something, Daddy. Chris Cook might think he's turned the tables on Marcus Burke, but he has another thing coming, Daddy. I think Riddick Stone will get involved and take the table away. Here we go. Marcus Burke is too smart, Daddy. Marcus Burke, Irish rip into the, oh, he stops. Oh! Drop toe hold into the table. Kicks How did out. he kick out of that? He still has some fire left inside How of him. How is this even humanly possible? His career is on the line. He's gonna go to desperate measures to not lose this match. I wish your career was on the line. Shows the power that that just shows the power that Marcus Burke has. Having salt on the wound there by Rick in the eyes with his feet. Pretty sure that's feet in the eyes, but whatever. Marcus Burke setting up the table. There we go. Irish whip. Oh, catches himself. Big air toss into the table. Disgusting. Oh. Disgusting. He has to resort to using a table to put down Marcus Burke. Daddy. I think it's just retribution or payback for the double teams on the outside from vegan power. Chris Cook finally getting some kind of advantage. Two. And Riddick Stone pulls the Unbelievable. Thank goodness for Marcus Burke that he has none other than the Pictou County and Colchester County powerlifting champion at ringside with him, Daddy.
line does not phase him at all. Who does he think he is? He's the big pitcher Chris Cook and his career is on the line and he will not let a man like Marcus Burke end his career. Boom! What do you think of that, Mike Russell? Stand corrected there, that's a vicious clothesline. Oh, and he almost got him. That's a whole lot Just a of two Chris, count. that's a whole lot of Chris Cook getting ahead of himself, Daddy. Marcus Burke showing a little frustration that he did not get the three count there. He's also still feeling the effects of Lynn getting thrown into that table as uh, referee Scott Myers is uh, throwing the pieces of it out. Now he's just adding insult. Now he's just insulting his, just insulting him. Marcus Burke. 
Look at that, that's beautiful. Beautiful! Oh, and a kick!
I'll be around. I might not be in this ring, but I'll be back time to time. I want to thank Kevin Tyler. <laughs> if the Tyler's in, I don't know where I'd be back in the day. We're going to keep this short and sweet, guys. Tonight was fun. That was a hell of a match. I'm sore. My nose feels gross. I can't say it enough. Thank you very much, Mo. You made this a hell of a time.